What's up people, I'm Nev and today I'm gonna show you 5 ways to wirelessly screen mirror Android phones and tablets to a TV. So you can watch YouTube, Netflix, play mobile games or just simply project anything that you're doing on your phone to a bigger screen. This includes regular HDTVs and smart TVs, the kind of TVs that connect to Wi-Fi. Number 1. Screen mirroring, sometimes called screen casting, allows you to mirror your mobile device's content to your TV screen. If you have a smart TV and Wi-Fi connection, you can do screen mirroring for free. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure your Android devices have a screen mirroring feature. I know for sure most of the Samsung Galaxy S's and Notes do have screen mirroring feature. I even hooked up my Galaxy S3 which is like 7 years old. Other devices that offer screen mirroring may name it something else like screencast, all share screen, media output, etc. Older devices and those running operating system older than Android 4.1.12 may not have the screen mirroring feature. Some newer devices will have a smart TV rather than screen mirroring in the menu function. You will need to open the connection for screen mirroring on both your smartphone and your TV in order for the connection to work successfully. The quickest way to find out if your device has the screen mirroring or smart view function is to use two fingers to pull down the extended notification menu. If your device does not have these features, you can still connect via Quick Connect. Number 2. Quick Connect. The Quick Connect feature only works on Samsung devices and allows you to easily search and connect using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to find other mobile devices, smart TVs and or streaming devices such as the Amazon Fire TV stack. You can use Quick Connect to share content such as images, videos and audio and of course screen mirror as well. If you're connecting to a TV, it needs to be capable of supporting Wi-Fi connections and you will need to have this enabled in order for Quick Connect to detect it. Step 1. Slide your finger down from the top of the screen to pull down the notification bar. Step 2. Select Quick Connect. If this is the first time you have used Quick Connect, you may be prompt to update or enable it. Step 3. Select the device you wish to connect to. In this example, the device is connected to a smart TV. Select the content you wish to share. Depending on the nature of the content, tap the share icon. If the share icon is not available, tap the menu in the top right hand corner, either shown as menu or three dots. The device you're connecting to may request that you allow the connection. Tap agree, allow or ok. Note, if you're connecting to a HDTV other than a Samsung Smart TV, you may need to use Samsung All Share Hub. Number 3. Samsung All Share Cast Hub. If you have a Samsung device but not a Samsung Smart TV, then this is for you. The way that it works is very simple. Connect All Share Cast Hub to an AC power source. Then connect your HDTV using a standard HDMI cable. Go to Wireless Settings, turn on All Share Cast, and select your device. I found it on Amazon at the time I recorded this video for. $75 and I found it on eBay for $35. Number 4. If you don't own a Samsung device specifically, or if you don't have a smart TV, your best option will be Screen Beam Mini 2, which is a wireless display receiver that doesn't need internet connection because it works with Bluetooth. You just need to connect the power cable to the receiver, which is a USB cable to the TV if it has a USB port, and if it doesn't, you can always use the charger that comes with it. And also, you need to connect the receiver to an HDMI port, but if the place where the TV is located doesn't allow you to do so, or maybe the receiver is taking a lot of space and doesn't give you enough room for other HDMI cables, or for any other reason, you can always use the HDMI extension cable as well. I found this wireless display receiver on Best Buy and Amazon for
Number 5. Last but certainly not least, Google Chromecast is a media streaming device that plugs into the HDMI port on your TV. Simply use your mobile device and the TV you already own to stream your favorite TV shows, music, sports, games and more. This device basically turns your dumb TV into a smart TV. Chromecast works with iPhone, iPad, Android devices, Mac, Windows computers and Chromebooks. This is made of a hard shiny plastic material which is what makes this so affordable. With a $35 price tag, it's a steal compared to other streaming devices like the Apple TV and the ones that I previously mentioned. So if your budget is really tight, this is a good option. To set it up, you just need to connect the HDMI cable to your TV and then plug the micro USB cable into the Chromecast and then you plug the adapter to the wall or to an available USB port on your television to feed the power which is the more ideal way of doing this. Then turn on the TV and switch it to the correct HDMI port and then download the Chromecast app on your iPhone or Android. If your mobile device doesn't support screen mirroring or any other type of connection to your TV, then you should definitely try Chromecast. It works pretty similar to the previous devices that I showed you earlier. The only difference is that you need a strong Wi-Fi connection. And make sure your Chromecast and devices are within a good range from your router for best results or else you might experience connection problems. There is another version of this device called Chromecast Ultra which streams up to 4K resolution but it is $70. There is another option that I wanted to mention if you don't have Wi-Fi at home or a smart TV. You can also buy an HDMI to micro USB adapter. I have another video where I explain how this works. Just click right here or the link in the description. If you like the video, please share it to other people like your friends, relatives or whoever you think might benefit from this information. And if you encounter a problem, do not hesitate to ask any question and leave your comment down below. And please check out my channel to watch more videos like this one and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you won't miss anything. Until the next time.